and you could see the clarity is already there. I'm just backing out. And now what I'm going to do is click on enhancement so we can get the lighting correct. And now you can easily see this red lead is not even bottomed out inside the GX16 terminal. And once again, no flux has been used. This is an accident waiting to happen. If he bumps the lead, if for some reason something comes loose, I'm telling you guys, please proceed with caution. A lot of these content creators do not take how serious what they're doing actually is. The power of artificial intelligence is everywhere. We all know that. I'm using it right now with this software, and this is just a software-based version of a non-physical sense of robotics, which is what we're doing now when we're all in this genre. Physical robotics is just AI in the physical sense. So thinking about how these machines can produce amazing components, when we see things built like this, I cannot emphasize for the do-it-yourselfer who's on YouTube and researching, take your time and review this kind of detail because this is the detail that will bite you. All right, guys, now we see the content creator once again starting to resolder a connector on his pendant. And you can see that cord that is all coiled up. It looks like a telephone cord. We can tell that is not a double shielded cable and he should be also able to identify that and he should be replacing its cable because of course it is going to be transpiring signals to the machine and those signals are once again susceptible to EMI. We then see him continuing to do his typical soldering practice and of course he is not using once again double shielded cable for this either. He went through and he is just in the midst of doing the TAC connections to the GX16. So I'm going through and wiring up the first stepper motor here. And one thing I like to do is kind of stagger my connectors here so that when I put them in the flex loom, this conduit stuff, they, they there's just not a big fat stack of uh, these butt connectors in, in a barrel. Um, a lot of times that won't fit in the flex loom and then just makes this big pregnant spot in the wire. This is a first for this channel in that I've never seen a content creator install crimp butt connectors on his stepper motor leads that are attached to his motor cable that he plans on running through a plastic wire loom. Now guys, this is a horrible idea.